One morning the man went to clean up his boat before the start of the season. As soon as he took off the tarpaulin, he saw a small lump in the corner. And suddenly this lump began to squeak. My husband was cleaning the boat and found this lonely toddler. He brought it into the house, says Louise Schofield. In the city where the family lives there is a colony of wild cats. And later it became known that the kitten they found was born along with his brothers in a garage near their house. The owner of that garage is a big fan of cats and regularly feeds the animals in the area. A few days after the kittens were born, one of them was found dead in the driveway. The owner of the garage immediately went to look for the rest of the kittens, but they seemed to have disappeared. As a result, no one could find the mother cat, and the man decided that she, along with the brood, died. This all happened just before the Schofields found one little kitten in there. Boat. People understood that if they left him, he would die. Therefore, they took the kitten to themselves and began to nurse. They kept him warm and fed him every two hours. We took full custody of him and became his surrogate parents. We gave him food, helped him go to the toilet, caressed him. In general, they did everything that his mother would have done, recalls Louise. The foundling was named Whisker. He now lives in a family where there are three more cats, which, by the way, the Schofields also saved. This is the most loving cat I have ever seen. He wants to lie on our heads, faces, necks and knees every second. Its purring motor constantly runs at high speeds. Whisker's favorite place to sleep is his foster dad's shoulder. When Whisker was found, he was a tiny kitten about the size of a palm. And now, after five months, he has blossomed into a magnificent fluffy cat who shows love and appreciation to his people every day.